Hello everyone, Native Q here again. Uh, as you can see, we are now mining ore. Um, so I've just taken a break from um, mining ice and um, I'm in the uh, Colossal uh, with the uh, rest of the Alliance guys uh, just mining ore. Um, so I've parked myself next to a spod rock and I have my alt. Um, let's just go over to him who's actually pretty full now. He is, oh no, okay, so he was um, mining Akinor, but that's now all gone. So what I will get him doing is I will get him mining, it's one of these, let's have a look, hold on, which one's going to be better for me? Pyrite, don't need pyrite. Don't need that. Okay, I want to get him um, crockite. So let's just uh, get him mining crockite. Right, let's start him up again. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so just here mining my spod that I need. Uh, the reason why I uh, want spod is I'm running low on Mexilon. So uh, I'm mining spod just to get a whole bunch of that. Because that's one of the minerals that I'm definitely running out of. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just transfer this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm in a mining fleet. Uh, currently on grid, there's uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen roll calls out here currently. And uh, we're all mining away, so perfectly safe. Um, just the amount of uh, firepower that's um, here protecting us is quite a deterrent for any wannabe um, uh, gankers that, that want to come along and, and try their luck trying to get one of these oracles. Um, I think there's just too many on grid. Uh, the only way you'd want to tackle all these oracles is if you had a super fleet that you wanted to drop on us. Um, but I don't think uh, any alliance currently is in the mood to uh, lose any supers. Uh, not after the um, CO2 incident uh, the other week. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, um, let's just have a look. Um, so the industry, the um, the fuel blocks that I'm making, um, okay, so these cap ones, these are just uh, copying. I was uh, making, what's that, nine runs of uh, 200 copies per run of these um, cap boosters, the uh, 3200, so they're the biggest. So they are now done, so I've got those copies available to give to the Alliance. Uh, the fuel blocks, um, they still have... Uh, basically 14 hours still to go so um, later on tonight I think they'll, um, they'll be ready oh no not 14 hours what am I saying did that just update no sorry six hours so yeah six more hours six hours yeah six and a quarter hours um, they'll be ready and I'll be able to put them on the market to um, sell so all of them 1500 worth um, be looking at about 1.4 uh, billion isk and I've got some Templars 200 Templars, uh, which are the um, light fighters, <coughs> they currently go for on the market currently. Um, let's just have a look. Oh, don't want that one. I want this one. Yeah, they're currently going for about 4.4 uh, million. <coughs> so if you work that out, 4.4 million times, I've got 200 of them. So you're looking at 880 million isk. Oops, sorry, I'll just change to this because that's now stopped. Start that up again. Start my mining drone twos. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> these Templars, uh, 200 of them, so that's another 880 million. Um, so with the uh, fuel blocks, which is uh, 1.4 billion, and that you're looking over... Um, Oh no, sorry, I don't. Oh, I'm blind today. I can't see. 
I'm too tired. I didn't get any uh, sleep last night. So that'll be why. It's not just 200. I've got another 150 here. It comes out in 20 hours. Ugh. Not good. Sorry about that. I'm losing it today. <laughs> so 4.4 million uh, times, what's that? 320. Sorry, 350. So yeah, that's uh, 1.5 billion. Isk. I'm just sitting there. So um, yeah, so 1.5 billion isk um, plus the uh, uh, 1.4 billion isk for the um, the fuel blocks. Grand total of uh, 2.9 billion. So um, hopefully, yeah, within the next couple of days, um, I'll be uh, 2.9 billion better off. Plus also all the good things I'll be able to do um, with this ore that I'm mining. Uh, obviously what I want to do is um, as soon as the uh, Templars uh, come out of um, production, <clears throat> I want to start them back up again and uh, create another, you know, 200, 300, 400 of them. Uh, it just depends on how much uh, ore I get to mine today. Um, so that that's 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 how I make my isk. Don't really make isk doing um, ratting. Well, I do. I mean, I like the ratting. Sometimes you obviously you do too much of mining. Yeah, it, it does get boring, and you want to change. So that's when I just change to ratting and either my um, Nidhogger um, carrier or just in a um, you know just myself and my Alton um, VNIs. Uh, Vex and Navy issue um, frigates just going out and um, and doing ratting sites. Um, I like B and I. It's just like mining. It's, it can be hands off quite a lot, so you don't have to think about too much. Uh, with carrier ratting, you've constantly got to um, manage your drones. Sorry, I should say manage your fighters. Uh, even though I I can create my own fighters, you know I still don't like using them. Uh, sorry, losing them because yeah, you know, these are these are four million each. So if you do a site and the site only nets you, let's say you know twenty million, then you know you lose one two fighters. That that's half your profit gone. Um, yeah, I just I just don't like you losing fighters. It's just too much of a headache to try and manage them. Uh, I don't know what it is because you know you hear about um, court mates and, and alliance um, people. They say that oh you know they never lose fighters when they go into anomalies and 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 do you know combat sites, you know. But I just I just don't know why I always lose fighters. You know I've heard that the trick is is to keep them moving, to to never let them just be idle, and I try my best to do that. I always you know keep them moving. But they always get attacked. But, you know, at least if I do say three sites, I'm bound to lose maybe two drones. And uh, yeah, I just don't like it. It just seems too much like hard work, especially when you can get the same amount of money with uh, two VNIs than than you do with one carrier. And VNIs is is more hands off. It's a, it's a lot easier. A lot less stress, let's put it that way. Just like uh, roll call mining. <clears throat> but then again, when I first started roll call mining, <laughs> oh, it was, um, <clears throat> yeah, I was stressed all the time. I was constantly looking at the Intel channel. I was constantly monitoring the uh, local to see if any newts, uh, uh, you know, pop in. I was really, really, really paranoid all the time, and it was very, very stressful. Because it is a lot of money to have on on grid. I mean, you look at the the just the hull itself for the um or uh, sorry for the roll call. It's about two point five billion, you know, just for the hull. And then you've got the drones, which are about a billion each. So that's five billion in drones. And then, you know, if you want to survive a, a gank attack, um, then you are going to need um pretty expensive modules in your roll call. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've uh, just to speed up the drones here. I've actually swapped out the um, cap boosters, the cap boost modules, which are here. 
I've swapped them out and I've put in two uh, drone navigation computer tech twos. That's just to uh, speed up my um, my mining drones. Uh, so I've done that. Um, but yeah, I mean, just there yeah, the Kono, um Capital Shield booster. You've got the um, X Type EM Ward Field. You've got the two X Type Shield Boost amplifiers. Uh, you've got the C Type um, Adaptive Vulnerability Shield. All of them are very, very expensive modules, especially that one. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a lot of money on grid, and these aren't cheap either. The Capital Core Defense Field Extender Tech Ones um, really should um, put them up to Tech Twos. But Tech One, even a Tech One is is forty seven um, million dollars. So for three of them, yeah, it's, it's quite a lot of money. Don't know how much the Tech Twos are. Let's have a look. Well, there we go. See, Tech Twos are a half a billion is just for one so if I was going to replace these tech ones with uh, tech twos I'd be looking at 1.5 billion just like that and um, for the extra tank that it's going to give you um, hold on that's about to get full so I'll move that over <laughs> yeah so for the amount of um, more tank it's going to give you I don't think it's worth it let's just have a look how much how much extra does it give you uh, these none of these work so it is really just for the shield capacity bonus so it's only five percent so 50 million compared to 500 million I mean with <laughs> that's yeah that's that's a lot that's that's too much just for five percent that's you know you're you're paying a hundred times more than it's worth just for five percent more that's um yeah that, that's not worth it uh I'm quite comfortable in my ability to survive a gank attack long enough for the rest of the alliance um support fleet to come and save me um these modules alone yeah well with the cap boosters. Um, and oh, did I take that out? Shouldn't have done that. Sorry. Um, yeah, for the cap boosters and um, the shields that I've got, uh, I'm pretty confident that I will survive a, a gank attack. So let me just put that one back in because I shouldn't have actually taken that out. Um, and I will put some of these. No, not that one. I want this one. So that's getting loaded. Um, yeah. So pretty confident. I, I don't need to spend 500 million on tech twos of these because for an extra 5%, it, it's not worth it. Well, I don't think it's worth it either. And these ones as well, the um, Kadari Navy Power Diagnostic Systems, three of them. Um, they aren't cheap either. How much are these? Are there any on the market? Oh, that's not too bad. 36 million. Uh, any of these on the market currently? There you go. 400 million for the Capital Shield Booster. This one. Oh, hold on. Just got to move this over. Start that up. The only reason I put up with a Hulk is because of the mining yield it's very very fast even though it has a small cargo hold or ore hold it's very very quick at mining that's what I like so I'm willing to put up with it filling up so quickly and we constantly have to move the stuff to to the roll call <laughs> just just because of the 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 amount it mines um, but anyway this one here is uh, 300 million uh, these ones the X type shield um, amplifiers how much are they there you go that's what say 300 million two of them that's 600 so there's a lot of money a roll call to get just the hull is you know about 2.5 billion but then add another 5 billion for the drones add another you know couple of billion for all the different modules that you're going to need for it uh, it definitely does add up quite a lot. 
uh, where are my drones? Let's see. So with the um, uh, drone navigation computers currently in there, my drones are. Let's just grab one. Oh no, not those ones. It's a bit hard to see. There we go. That's one of them. <laughs> They're going quite quickly. Um, 461 meters a second, which is quite quick. Um, cycle time. Uh, six, uh, 60 seconds which is a minute and uh, each time it's uh, 1.8 <coughs> wow yeah 1850 uh, cubic meters of um, ore so it's pretty good five drones you know that's a lot of um, of uh, mining ability that you've got there and um, quite quick as well with those uh, drone navigation computers in there but yeah, as soon as I see any newts coming along, or a newt suddenly pop into local, I'm swapping out those um, the those uh, drone navigation computers, and I'm putting in my uh, cap boosters. Um, definitely need that to survive a gank attack, because no doubt they'll have newts to try and get my capacitor down, um, which will prevent me using my shields my shield boosters and therefore make it easy for them to kill me but uh, with two cap boosters I can constantly replenish my capacitor if it's getting drained by the newts that come into system so um, that's why it's imperative that you have these you must have these it's um I don't understand anyone that doesn't that's just uh, you know first on the list of things you need to put in a roll call well apart from this the Conard capital shield booster um, but anyway, yeah, so just a quick update. Oh, this is full again. So quick. Got to start my drones up again. One of them's idle. And start the um, strip miner tech ones, which is all I use. Uh, this character here, the, my PvP character, um, he doesn't have the ability to use the uh, modulated strip miners. Um, he's just not on his um, priority list to um, train up. Um, so I think currently what he's doing is he's training up the guns for the um, the Mimitar uh, Dreadnought, which is a Nagafar, which uses um, projectile turrets. So he's currently training up um, for them so he can use that. Because at the moment, uh, all he can use in the Dreadnought... Um, in the Dreadnought um, realm is the um, Phoenix which is which is the Kaldari which is this guy here no nope, sorry this guy down here Phoenix he's uh yeah mastery level three in that so he can only fly this and that uses missiles um, but what I want to do is I want to get him trained into this which is the Nagafar which I uh, use the projectile turrets instead of missiles uh, it's just that uh, with the uh, Kadari Dreadnought, the rate of fire on them is quite slow. Uh, even though the missiles do a lot of damage, um, each volley, uh, I think it's about 30 seconds or something per volley. So it's very, very slow at, at firing. does a lot of damage, but it's not a consistent amount of damage. It's, you know, it's, it's very, very slow. <clears throat> but the Mimitar one, the Nagafa, uh, that's a, a more constant rate of fire. I think it's you know every five seconds or so, so it's a lot quicker. So that's why I want to train into the um, these ones here, and also too with these Nagafars, I think they have active shields, because <coughs> um, that's one thing that you've got to know as well that uh, with the Phoenix, um, that's more um, how would you say um, armor fit. Um, and it, you don't really have any that much resistances or shields so if you go into siege mode in one of these one of the downsides is that your triage carriers and your um, logi they can't rep you they can't um, give you you know repair your shields at all um, so because of the fit or the current um, test fit for the phoenix you don't have any um, shield um, boosters if you like uh, so you're pretty vulnerable um, if you're under heavy attack and you're in siege 
then you know you you could lose your shields quite quickly but the mimitar is an active shield which means you know they repair quite quickly so you're able to survive a lot longer when you're in siege mode uh, that's why I, I think that the Nagafar is preferred by by the Alliance rather than the um, Phoenix even though they're both Doctrine ships um, I still want to fly this because I just like the the better rate of fire if you like um, and why not you know train into a different different type you know I've trained up the missiles it's um, you know be good to train up um, projectile turrets as well just to uh, get a variety in the game if you like Oh, this is um, full again. That's not good. That's just... It's too fast. Anyway, uh, so that's the um, update. Let me just move all these over. And I'll compress it all. Because, oh God, it's full. 300,000 cubic meters worth of ore. So let's compress all that. Not jettison, compress. Alright, we'll move this one over as well. We'll stack it all and we'll compress it. Alright, there we go. 98 million worth of um, ore. So, quite a lot of spod, which I desperately need. Um, got some crocite as well and um, some arcanore. And um, still a lot of roll calls on grid, which is fantastic to see. And someone's mining some uh, max. Uh, sorry, um, uh, God, what's it called? I forget the name completely. Uh, yeah, McCoxit, which um, always lo uh, leaves that um, <laughs> that uh, poisonous cloud, depending on your skills, of course. Um, but anyway, that's just the update. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And um, next time, um, what I'm actually thinking about doing is creating a new series of videos um, that's from a, you know, development of a completely new character. So I'm not sure if um, I want that character to be a subscribed character or if I'm just going to go down the route of... Um, you know, a new character being an alpha character and just uh, showing new players what they can do with an alpha character in high sec uh, in terms of exploration and mining of course and um, PvP in combat um, so yeah I'm just uh, just mulling that over at the moment uh, so you may see a, <laughs> a couple of videos come out about that shortly um, just you know just for new players about how they can get started in eve because it is quite challenging if you're quite new i mean any eve player that that's been in the game for you know a couple of weeks will know how challenging it is it's there's a lot to do um there's a lot that you need to know um it is a, it is a very technical game um there's a lot you can do there's there's a lot of um different settings that you can tweak um so I guess that's what makes it um, so exciting is, is the fact that it, it is a sandbox and it is built in a way that you can pretty much do do anything you want uh, within reason. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd start a, a new series where um, it just shows new players um, the ropes and um, get them started and where to buy skill books and how to buy skill books in terms of not getting ripped off for them and um and how the uh you know the uh, agents work and where you can get uh, missions from i think that'd be pretty cool because i know that um uh, who was it there was um i think it was reload that uh did a, a new character mining video or uh, what is it a mining character um start a video um, a couple of years ago I think it was a couple of years he, he did a whole series about <coughs> creating a mining character and the skills and you know building up to get um, the um, the barge the mining barge um, and I thought that was pretty cool so I want to try and do something like that as well uh, just to give uh, 
a bit more detail about where to go and buy things and what you really should be looking for when you go out and mine and uh, what systems are, are good um, but yeah so look for that in the future anyway um, that's me done uh, I'll continue mining um, until it's not safe to do anymore and then I'll take my ore back and get it processed and uh, yeah hopefully by that time those uh, Templars would have come out of um, production so I'll um, have enough ore to um, start another um, production run off um, and make a, another billion of them but anyway until the next time uh, fly safe and um, yeah have fun bye for now